Weather alert. Lightning hazard. Warning. Lightning detected. Find shelter. Suit power. 50%. Warning. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to... Uh... What game am I playing? Occupy Mast. <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot that. I was going to say Avatar there for a second. I'm like, hold on a second. I'm not flying any creatures, but oh well. Yeah, we're back. Um, we're going to put our helmet back on. We're going to make sure we've got our oxygen refilled. Um, we're actually going to do some botany today. We're going to we're going to start making some food or getting towards it anyway. Um, obviously, we're not going to have like food processor or anything as of yet, but um, we're, get, we're getting there. We're, we're working towards something. Um, first things first, we actually need to start creating stuff. So we're going to go do that today. Um, our oxygen is good. So we're sticking around home, so we'll, we'll go from what we've got. Uh, we're not too far. Well, actually, if we go outside, we should be okay. Might take a bit of damage, but that's fine. Um, that's fine. We also skipped the, the lightning hazard, I think. I think. Uh, it's still flashing, so uh, I don't know. I might be doing something dangerous right now. If I am, I am. Uh, we'll have to deal with it. Right, okay, those things haven't reset, which is a little sad. Usually they reset at a certain time of night, and they didn't do it last night, so that's fine. Right, uh, actually, no, I want to go check. Um, I want to go check to see how far our... Um, our battery went down last night, so the sun's only been up for a short period of time, and we're still above like 600. So, yeah, we've got more than enough. We're going to start living in here now. Uh, so, yep, this is going to be not a thing we live in anymore. So, goodbye. <laughs> Welcome to our new home, guys. This is where we're going to be sleeping tonight. In here. And um, first things first, though, we're actually going to get um or incubator up and running. We'll also need to go plumb up some water today. So I think what we go do is we maybe go plunk down a couple of extra wells today um, because we're going to be pumping some water into this place um, as of now. Ooh, no, we're not. <laughs> I just saw a lightning strike and I was just like, hell no, that's uh, that's electricity. We're going to stay inside for a little bit. Um, we're actually going to do some stuff in internally, I think might be a good idea. Um, so we actually don't need to shut this thing off anymore. We're, we're good in here. I think we're also good for oxygen. So if I kill myself, I kill myself. We only just done a save, so we only lost like a few minutes of today. So let's take off our helmet. We should be able to breathe in here. Yeah, we're, we're quite comfortable in here, actually. So, um, that's a good thing. This thing, I don't know if it's producing enough oxygen properly. I need to go figure out what my guide was, because I actually... I taught you guys on Season 1 on how to get the best performance out of this thing. But I don't remember what I did exactly, because it was so long ago. Um, we'll figure that one back out again anyway. But um, for now, I think what we'll do is we'll get... Um, well, we're going to get the incubator up and running, but first things first, we need to go sort out water. I'm just waiting for this weather event to pass, which I think it already has now. That means we can go outside and plunk down some uh, some water generation. Uh, at least get maybe two wells pumped into here, I think. But the only thing is we're going to have, which is an issue, is um, power for it. Um, I can't remember on how much power it needs, but it does require a little bit of power um, to at least go overnight. Um, I can't remember how much this thing needs. But I'm thinking maybe just plunk down two of them. That should be enough for now to at least get um, like you know stuff up and running. Um, so we should be good there. All right, let's um, pop our helmet back on. We'll head outside and we'll um, we'll go we'll start putting down some stuff but yeah we've we've got no like weather warnings anymore which means we're not going to get struck by lightning at least and i don't think anything got damaged i think everything's good don't see any damage anywhere but yeah i think maybe plunk it down a couple more of these like this is our main water source at the minute 
Which, to be honest with you, I think we can probably punk down one more, I think. And uh, one of my friends has just started playing again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we can just plunk this one down right next to this one, I think. So we should be getting quite a bit of water out of this. So let's just go under resources. Yeah, it's under resources. So I think we... Right, I'm not sure if that one there is going to get water there or not, but uh, let's let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's fine. All right, so what we'll do is we'll plonk this one down over here then. So we'll keep them in line. That one should be fine there, I think. We'll just double check. Yep, it's above the water source, so we're good. Right, let's... um. Build the well. I think we'll look. We've got no solar cells and no small engines, which I think we can build. We need five solar cells. Five solar cells, three small engines. So we'll just go build them. We've got we've got enough to build stuff with. So. Okay. So we need solar cells. We need five of them. And small engines. We need three, which I'll make four. And my friends probably reloading a game in a game in a game like over and over and over again. Like, please stop. <laughs> I'm trying to play my game and record it. I really put myself on busy. <laughs> I don't know if that's coming up in the recording or not. It might not be, but if it is, then yeah, you, you're getting some notifications there. All right, let's build this one. We've got enough for everything else. Right, there we go. So we've got like two wells now going. Right, so I think what we'll do then is we'll start to get maybe a pumping station up and running. We'll get like pumping station number one ready. Which we unlocked. The only reason why I unlocked this... Oh, look, we haven't even got like electronics. Um, or a small Sega board. We should have a small Sega board. Uh... My question is, is where is the edge of this water source? Because I want... This, like, this is saying right now, like, we can build, like, all the way over here. I don't know if that's true or not. Oh. Uh, yeah, this thing's producing like 65 liters an hour as well. So, hey, um, I'm not going to complain about that too much. Right. Uh, I think what we'll do is I'll probably put a uh, pump station here just for now, just so we can pump water back. Uh, so we're going to need some electronics. Uh, so I think maybe he's putting one here for now. Um, it's out the way. It's available to pump. So build this one here. I think I've got... I might just need to go and make some more electronics. Right, two electronics I need. Yeah, let's just go get two electronics. I think I've got small circuit boards on me anyway. So just need a couple of electronics, please. Uh, I'll make four. Available point for technological yeah, cool. Advancement. Starting to use up a lot of our materials right now, actually, while I'm here, just so I don't have to... Sorry that I'm flicking the camera around. I'm going to pick these up as well. We're going to need them. Uh, let's hit... Where my fingers are sat on the keyboard, I can't hit two. There we go. 
Right, so what we'll do is we'll set this to do 100% to that. And what I'll do is I'm just going to hit that to zero. Uh, that I'm going to change to red. The only reason I'm changing it to red is just so like, I know it's not in use. Uh, and that there should be able to freely pump water back to our um, our place without much issue at all. But yep, we've um, we've got quite a bit of water in here. We've got stored of ten liters, so that's good. I think what we'll do is we'll um, we'll start hooking all this stuff up now. So uh, we're gonna hit six. And let's start. Let's just start hooking everything up. Might not let me connect. There we go. It does. Alright, uh, right, 100% water's going this way. Out of that one. Why is two of those? Uh, well, well, red, red. Yeah. Those should both be red. Doesn't really matter. Uh, right, what button we're pressing six? Let's get water flowing into here. There we go. There's water. Sorted. So, if we come inside, we should now see water available. And that's how much water we've got available. So yeah, we've got loads of water. Um, the reason why I hooked up two was for, um, well, just to make sure we've got enough water for the plants and everything. We should have more than enough, um, is my main goal. I'd rather go a bit overboard than not have enough and plants die and then we die and you see where I'm going. Uh, right. Let's uh, take our helmet off because we're actually going to start planting now think we can just like literally just get going um i think we can just plant a full full amount and not really worry too much about anything else uh we'll just switch out the spectral detector which is on four 20 potatoes let's how, actually how many does this table take so two four six eight ten twelve um, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, so we'll only do that amount, what we can take, so. We'll Available point for technological do that. And, uh, yeah, we need to turn this on. Uh, how do we do it again? Um... We just go here, right? Click that. Click that. And now use more power than I need. Whoopsie. Um, so we're now doing... Right, okay. I need to go knock this up to 24. Suit pressurized. Helmet sealed. We're using slightly more power, but... Oh, crap. Right, we're good. Uh, so let's just knock this up to 24. There you go. They should be back online. Nope, this is not back online. How much power were we using? I don't remember. Oh, there we go. Alright, how much power actually do we need? Yeah, yeah, we've got enough. 24. And the incubator's going. The seeds lost a little bit of health, but that's fine. But yeah, we've now got this up and running. Right. Oh, phew. Right. We're good. I like how there's just like like random wires just like dropped in. <laughs> there's going to be no stream relief there. I swear. Right, okay. So we've used these ones. 
and we've used uh, our thing which is still in our inventory so yeah we're we're now growing stuff welcome to growing with joe <laughs> but yeah we're um we're we're, we're going we're, we're making food at least um speaking of food we are hungry well actually we're more thirsty than we are hungry um but yeah i think we've got enough water how much water are actually using yeah we're only using like 70 and we've got like a like over a, what's that there's a hundred there's yeah so we've got like a thousand liters of water and we're using like what like 1.2 liters an hour <laughs> i think that's a liter i'm not 100 percent sure i'm pretty sure that's liters an hour uh got enough power to last us um this is obviously taking up no power why it's sitting there doing nothing so that's fine i think these only use power when they're actually getting used but yeah i can't wait to expand out this way and get more cool stuff and uh, by the way that thing's staying on <laughs> that thing's staying on now that now that we're living in here we've uh what's our oxygen actually doing um yeah we're actually made we have oxygen's green in here now so we're we're pretty good actually we're going to be sleeping in this bed tonight so we're going to be even more comfortable we're getting botany points um i don't remember how long it takes these things to grow i think it takes like a good couple of days um but yeah i think they'll get like 50 percent in here and then they'll go in here and then go from 50 to 100 so i just can't wait to get like the double layered ones and yeah it's gonna be fun Anyway, right, let's figure out what else we can do for the rest of the day. Um, we've done quite a bit internally. Let's head outside, shall we, and see what we can do outside. Ah, in the lovely, uh, lovely way of getting in and out of this base. I love it. Uh, right, do we have any, like, um, like electricity points yet? Uh, I don't think we will. Uh, actually, yeah, we do. So we can actually get on our way to medium solar panels. So I think what we'll do is we'll get more efficient DIY, um, which will help. Uh, and I think we go for panels. I, I really want to get like the, the suit energy saver, which means we don't have to charge our suit up as much. But I think getting the more efficient DIY is a good one, which means we can unlock the panels on our next updates. And then from there, I think what we'll do is I think we'll get the more efficient suit battery. I think we'll just go get for the more efficient suit battery, I think. But uh, yeah, I think we're we're cooking with gas, with, uh, with power. We're getting, well, to be honest with you, we're almost at max for this battery, so yeah if we're getting max for the battery we're, we're pretty golden actually we've got water coming in uh i think we've got plenty of water i don't need to worry too much about water actually um it's 100 efficient which is good uh you are also 100 efficient uh you've got loads in storage uh, and you're producing six liters an hour I think it's exactly what this one's producing as well. Yeah. I think I read that right when I did the spectral detector, right? 70. 700. I'm just reading the spectral detector here just to see what it says. To be honest with you, the Liters, the replenishment in liters an hour is fine. Capacity is like great. They're good all the way out over here as well. I think that's a big water source, what we've got right here, so. Uh, 
and I think maybe he's getting like a little bit of like a solar farm over here might as well just to like power up these things just so like they you know they're producing water day and night also, I think one of them is just good enough to well eh, two of them will be good enough for like overnight I think so between tonight and tomorrow we'll have a look right what can we do for the rest of today so we've got botany up and running I'm debating should I just plant some more seeds and I'll just have two tables of food. Like having like two tables of food might be a good idea, but we're, we're, we're struggling with one workshop at the minute, so I think. Hmm. I sort of want to do what I did with my last place where I put like a workshop on, but you know what? I might actually change the direction of our base. Like right now this is our like main entrance. I might make this our secondary entrance just like close to this. And then what I might do is I might just expand this out here. And just have like a double airlock going over here. And then maybe just do Hmm. I might have a different idea actually. What connectors do we currently have? I'm I'm sort of trying to plan out our base right now. <laughs> yeah, so we've got like the T connectors as well. So uh, what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on putting like the same quarters and like shower and stuff inside of the building, like inside of here probably. Um, so what I might do is I might put like a, a connector on. Uh, I might get rid of these two connectors put like a T on and then actually put like an exit like here so we can exit over here to like this stuff um and then have like living quarters here potentially and then have uh like the, like have like an X connector and then over here coming out and going over to our secondary um our secondary workshop and then build the rest of the base this way maybe Hmm. I'm just trying to plan it out now so we know what we're doing. And I might actually just change this now while we can. Because if I put like a if I put like an X connector coming out here so we can get this way sorted. So yeah, put like an X on here and then me exit here and then I've got like the the track ready for the rest of the stuff I'm trying to remember on how I did it on the last one because I really like the the back side of it um actually yeah let's do this like taking down these airlocks is not going to do anything to the internals Right, so I think what I do is I put on here a um, shot with window here. Then I put an X in. One of these. Like so. Then do my double airlock. Then do my ramp. Like that. And then that's our way in and out. Sorted. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, we should be able to build this really quickly before the end of the day. <laughs> It just means that we're going to be, um, you know, uh, extending some other stuff out. So let's let's build the X connector first. I have to quickly build the airlock. Hmm. 
Build the airlocks. And then build the ramp. Not enough materials. Are you joking? Any glass plates? How many glass plates do I need? One. I think I can just make one glass plate, I think. Yeah, I can. I know I'm starting to run out of materials right now. We need to go out scavenging again. Let's build this ramp. Great, I need I need some aluminium plates now. Uh aluminium plate, aluminium plate. I think I only need one, so I'll just make one. If I need to make more, I can make more. There we go. Is our base sorted? I don't think it needs any more power. Crap, it does. Right, how much power do we need? It's probably because I've just put in more stuff. Right, how much power do I need? Uh, I need 28. So, I think we just give it 30. Got out. Just adding these corridors has just added crap to more power. That's fine. We can... I can afford the power now. <laughs> We're at that stage of the game like where, like, we've got enough. Uh, so, what I'll do is I'll just give... I'll just give it 30. A nice round number. There you go. The whole base should be online now. Just means we're going to have slightly bit more of a drain on the batteries overnight, but we should be fine. There we go. We'll lit up like a damn Christmas tree in here now. Oh great, that means we're completely out of water. There we go, we're good. Right. Well, I guess what we can do is we can take off our helmet. Actually, to be fair, I didn't even check the damn oxygen before I took the helmet off. Um, as you guys can see, yeah, we've got plenty of oxygen in here. We're actually good. I think putting in, like, the little glass windows to be able to see outside, see what's going on, is actually quite good. We've got sleep dead, but we're fine. Uh, but, yeah, we can, like, sort of see out. Oh. We can sort of see, see out of there as well. Um, then down here we'll have probably sleeping quarters. Possibly. Uh, no, sorry, yeah, we'll have like sleeping quarters out over here maybe. Uh, then we'll probably go this way to our other side of the base. We'll do like a little loop here. I think before I had the loop coming out this way, so it was like a, a turn. But I think having like this little bit of corridor come down here, secondary workshop just over there think is good but yeah welcome home for the nights uh, this is where we're going to be sleeping from now on um i think we need uh well i guess what we can do is we can do things like repair tools and all kinds of stuff in here on a night now but like i don't even have to really worry about that too much so if i just um repair this and we are good uh, I think as well, um, let me just do this. Yeah, we use one of our circuit boards from in here. That's fine. Um, battery, soup battery's running a little bit low. Our food's running a bit low as well. I really miss being able to just hover over and see what the progress is. I think what we do tomorrow, though, is I think we go out grinding again. I think we... We head out, maybe he's down here, maybe he's head over this place, um, actually I think we maybe head over over here, hit this base, hit this base, or should we maybe go over here and hit this one first, I know we've been there, 
I think what we do is we go drive out down here. We'll hit this one first because this one we've been to before. Uh, we head out over there. And then from that one, we maybe start heading home over to this one. And then probably home by that point. If we can, we'll maybe jump over here as well. I think that is a good start. Anyway, so we've got Botany Open running. These are nicely growing. They're at... Uh, it, well, 9%. <laughs> It's going to be a few days since we uh, until we get this all up and running properly, but... Oh, we've got a base, we've got power. We're cooking, we're, you know, we're... We're progressing, really. Um, not too quickly as well, which is nice, but um, quick enough. Right, anyway, I think what we'll do is we'll call this episode... Well, not this episode here, but we're going to call this day here. Um, you don't have enough food. Okay. Is I'm going to have to consume some food before we go. So, yeah, we're starting to run a little bit low on food. Like, we're starting to get down to that five-day where I'm starting to get concerned. But we've got food growing. We've got food growing. We've got some spare food in the capsule as well. So, we can actually sleep for longer now as well. So, we'll sleep until about maybe uh, 7.30, I think, will be about nice. While we sleep in our bed for the first time, I'm going to take a sip of my drink. Which I'm out of. Great. Power, 25%. There you go. Um, we're, I should have really slept with my helmet on just to make sure we didn't run out of oxygen or anything, but... I'm not really worried about oxygen. I'm worried more about the temperature inside. So, I think we're good. Suit pressurized. I think we put our helmet on, and we probably head outside. It's probably a little bit too early for it, but we should be good. I'm getting a low temperature warning, but I think what we'll do is we'll um we'll just come in here and close the door for a minute. Um, I'm just going to refill our oxygen tanks. Make sure we've got plenty of oxygen for the day. And we're going to head straight out anyway. We're going to... Uh, I need a solar panel, actually. I need to know the resources for a solar panel. Because, uh, yeah, we're, we're running a little bit low on um, solar stuff. So, I think that's what we'll do. We'll just make sure we've got enough for a solar panel in our inventory. So yeah, I need five solar cells and one engine extra. So uh, one engine added to our list and five solar cells. Which we'll just 3D print because we've got the resources to do it. And what else do I need? Uh, water. So I'll refill both water tanks before we go. And then we'll go. Alright, let's grab you guys. Because, well, I'm going to need just for the day. And let's go. Helmet's on. And let's get an hour of TV. Let's head on out. I think it's the first time I've actually had to squeeze through that since uh, I, I built those batteries. I haven't actually left home for a few days. We've done lots of home improvements actually recently. Right, so let's refill the war bottle. Usually like uh, number one job of the day that. We'll refill this one as well. Right, let's head on out shall we? Let's head about 1,200 meters away to then come back. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be the last day I record for this recording session. So um, the next ones will be done tomorrow, but you guys will see all of the... Well, you won't see them all until Monday.
use our bricks a bit. Should be good down heading down here at like max speed. Bleed off some speed there a little bit. Should be good. Sure. Yeah, I'll probably almost kill myself there. I'm not gonna lie, I probably almost kill myself. I actually did click the button to get off, but it wouldn't let me get off. I got lucky. <laughs> like, really lucky. Yeah, we, we really need to go out and start uh, find some more um, some more abandoned tablets um, soon. It's just so we can unlock more things. Well, we, to be honest with you, we can still unlock stuff right now. It's just we're not really waiting for abandoned tablets. We've got stuff we can unlock and progress, but... For now, we're just trying to get resources, is my goal. But yeah, we might, um, every week we might do like a, an episode where we do some mining in one day, and then the next we do something else again. Like, so like we do like maybe it's one episode of, um, one episode of mining, like where we come out and mine rocks. The next episode might be, um, we come out... Yeah, exploring and grinding down bases and stuff. And I understand that I'm going fast and there's a cliff coming up. Well, not really a cliff. More of a... Small hill. Put it. Yeah, I think we've been out over here before. Oh yeah, this is where we got this thing from. So, full circle. Yeah, hopefully we'll be getting its big brother soon. Um, well, not big brother. It's more... How to put it? Um, fully repaired and restored brother. <laughs> anyway, we've got loads of solar panels and stuff here. So what we'll do is we'll spin this beauty around. So she's facing the direction we want to leave. Uh, we punked our solar panel. We then hit build. We then quickly build it. We then quickly connect it and then go grinding. Yee. Yeah. <laughs> you can just like knock me out nearly. Uh, five. And she can charge while we're, uh, while we're busy. Apparently, I don't want to charge while we're busy. I want to drop it on the floor. There we go. Right. Let's get to grinding, shall we? Yeah, our health and everything as well is um, now maxed out. Um, we're good on that. We're sleeping in like a proper bed now, so... It helps. For whatever reason, I can't run properly. I don't feel like I'm running. That's normal. That's with sprint. It doesn't seem as fast as it should be. Ah, oh, there we go. I think I just got stuck. Oh, and I also forgot about my um, suit battery. I did forget about that. I'm going to double check to see what it's on. What's the suit battery on? 17%. Uh, okay, we're, we're not too bad. We'll let it get down to about like 10% or so and then we'll switch it out. It'll probably send us another... Um, another alert. Once it gets down to that point. I'm not actually sure what um, what drains the suit battery. I, I think it's like fully wearing the suit and being out in the cold. I think drains it. I'm not sure if, if you when you're using your tool, it drains it as well or not. I don't know. It's probably written in the um, in the how-to guide or whatever they call it, the um, the knowledge base. Uh, yeah, the knowledge base. It's probably in here somewhere. Probably somewhere in here. 
Um, I haven't read it. <laughs> to be honest with you, it doesn't bother me too much. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't type of thing. As long as I know how to play the game, I'm quite happy. Which, to be fair, I do know how to play this game. I might not uh, unlock things in the way some people want me to, but... To be fair, some people have good valor points. You guys do give me some good valor points where I should unlock this first or this second. And or I'll unlock this in this order for this particular reason. I'm probably going to have somebody shout at me in the comments or send me a message just going, yeah, you should have really unlocked this instead of this in the uh, in the energy tech tree. From either, was it yesterday's episode or today's episode? I can't remember where, when we unlocked it now. It's in a previous day. Well, I hope everybody's having a good week anyway. Um, this is, I think, a Wednesday episode, so... Like halfway through the week by the time this thing goes up. But it's um my like last recording session of uh of today. <laughs> I recorded quite a lot actually in one day, so I think the last time I was here I actually grinded down a lot more stuff. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grind down a lot more than I normally do. I think I can take the airlocks and stuff with the uh, grinder too as well, so I'm going to take all the airlocks. Because it gives me like extra stuff, like um, I think glass plates and stuff. Oh, I think we'll do that. Yeah, I can take the ramps. I think I can take the airlocks. Oh, I can't grind the airlocks yet. Must be grinder three. Damn it. I thought I could take the airlocks. Grinder two. Oh well. This place is pretty grinded anyway, so. We'll leave that one in there just in case I need to get back inside for whatever reason. Oh, I actually did a nice loop there. <laughs> right, let's um let's move on to the next base, shall we? I think we maybe go to uh, obviously one where we've been before, so uh, what we'll do is we'll just mark this one as, uh, we'll name it, and we'll put a G on it as well. Uh, right, let's go to, right, which one should we go to? Should we go here or here? I think we go over here. Something there as well. I'm not sure what that is. Oh look, there's a base over here. Um I wonder if that's actually round where my the base was, maybe I don't know. Anyway, I think we'll go here. So what we'll do is we'll track it with that colour and we'll head there now. Oh no, I need to go there, look. I always need to go. So, I've actually never been there before. Uh, I think we can make it. I think I can make it. If not, then it's fine. Right, let's go. I've just got to keep in mind the time. So usually my go back time is usually around about like 1700. Yeah, somewhere around there. Maybe 16 might be a nice ballpark for this one just because we've got quite far to get back. We have got more health now though as well. We, we have got med kits just in case I stay out a little bit too long. We should be okay. Also, I've got to keep an eye on the charge of this thing. Like, the charge on this thing is not the greatest. Really, I should have had it on charge while we were doing all of the base stuff. And I didn't. Which was probably not a good idea. I should have probably popped a solar panel on it. Then it would be more or less fully charged now, but... Eh, it is what it is. 
sucks that we don't have it fully charged, but... It's alright. We'll survive. Alright, there we go. That's our super battery below 10%. Or at 10%. Probably below, actually. It's fine. You know what? I think that's too far away. I want to. I want to grind down some more stuff today. So I think what we'll do is we'll try not to kill myself first, and then I think we. I'm just like looking at the time. Like the time is like almost two o'clock in the afternoon, and we're quite far away from home anyway. I think maybe it's going to something a little bit closer. Grinding that down might be a better idea. Then we might be able to hit like two bases with one stone. Don't even think this has much to really grind on it, but I think we're almost like a thousand meters away from home. getting like 500 and also I'm going over like the most bumpiest terrain in the game that's not really that bumpy it's just bumpy for this damn thing I don't know if there's much to grind here I don't think there is if not we'll mark it and we'll go yeah no there's some solar panels and stuff yeah okay so yeah this is good Um, have a look. Which one are we at? Yeah, we're here. Okay, so, right, let's, let's grind this thing. I think we'll be able to make that other one over there someday, but I think it'll be one of those ones where we go early morning and get there. If, if it's something we need to loot as well at the same time, it might be one of those ones where we sort of, like... Hmm. That's good. We're getting points as well, which is good. My main goal, get as many points as I possibly can while getting as many resources as we can. Like I had like the, um, well, to be fair, even towards like end game, I was still grinding down bases just because it, well, it gave you like free stuff. Like, like, oh, oh, press the wrong button. Like, it gave me like uh, extra resources what I might need to progress. Instead of building them or mining them and stuff like that, what, what you can do now. Which means you don't really have to loot and grind down as many bases anymore, but... I like doing this, it's sort of like chill. Chill and talk. I don't know if you guys can tell though that I'm I'm starting to get a little bit tired. <laughs> I've been going for uh, over three hours now. Like my recording time is over three hours, um, but that's uh, obviously you know give or take about like ten minutes per video, uh, beginning and end of them to where I just like you know like take a take a quick break. I haven't stood up in like probably three and a half. I've got to tell you, I don't do very well sitting down for very long. Well, uh, four long periods of time, I should really say. Okay, we're at 15. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. We're good for time. Don't need to worry about that one too much. We've got lots of it. I should really be charging up that um, ATV as well, but... I think we've got more than enough power to get home. Just means... Hmm, maybe tomorrow what we might have to do is uh, charge up a bit more. Might have to stay around home, do some mining for a day. Just leave the thing on charge. 
Like, come out and actually just, like, stick it on charge and do some mining, maybe. That might be a good idea. Good shout. We'll figure it. We'll figure it out. Getting loads of resources from this as well. We're getting... Some fan just kicked on there in the background. I don't know if that mic picked that up, but I'm not sure what fan just kicked in there. But some fan just kicked in. Well, I have no idea what that fan even was. Might be my PC actually. So it's probably spiked in temperature. We got a little bit too warm. First time it just randomly kicked in like that, like ever. <laughs> actually, to be honest with you, it wasn't my GPU. It might be my GPU, actually. Some have kicked in. It could have been case fans. Well, according to my, um, my PC, everything's good. I have a, um, I have an automation set up to where, um, like if my PC fans get a little bit too, or my PC, and if anything in my PC goes about like 90 degrees or anything, um, and the fans kick in for whatever reason, um, some, uh, like the LEDs and stuff decide to, uh, change colors and tell me like, well, just on what percentage it is. I'm guessing somebody just got a little bit warm and it needed uh, a rapid cool down. First time that's actually ever happened. I played some hella more intensive games than this. Hmm. Curious. Might have to actually go check. After I finish recording, we've not got much in today's left, so I'll be able to uh, go check that out and figure out what it was. To be fair, for this PC being on pretty much like nearly all the time, I only just cleaned it out recently as well. I do clean my PC on a regular basis too. So you guys know. Yeah, I think it's time to go back. We'll finish off this row. I'll walk around just to see if there's much else what we need to do here. We should be able to get back. We're getting back to about... Uh, starting to get dark. Just a bit. Right, let's see if there's anything else more what we need to do here. I think it's just the shadows what's making me feel like it's getting a bit later than it is. I think that's it for this place actually. I think we're good. And so we'll mark this one as been and done and then we'll, uh, we'll head home. Before it gets too dark, oh, my stomach is starting to get a bit low. We'll also repair our tools as well. Yeah, we're good. I'll just squeeze through here because the rover's just here. Oh, well, another rover, the ATV. Oh, so dust cap, OCD. Right, let's head home. Plenty of time to get home. Repair our tools. we'll go from there. See, maybe... Oh, hold on. One second. One second. Just because I know um, suit battery is below 10%. I'll just make sure I put the other battery in. Just because I, I will forget otherwise. While I remember. Also, my... Uh, my voice is starting to get a bit tired. <laughs> not talking as much as you guys probably can tell but uh, sometimes uh, you guys don't need me to entertain you sometimes the game is enough I feel sometimes the game is enough anyway yeah so just 500 meters to get over there and then up the hill well 500 500 and a half 550 meters Joe come on <laughs> I think what we'll do though is 
Uh, I'm gonna head down. I'm gonna head down here. Oh, you've got to be pissing joking. The weak signal has been detected. Please check it before. In your region, a weak signal has been detected. Check it before. Destroys by atmosphere conditions by opening the tablet message and more. Found some detected signal. Uh, in your sector, a weak signal has been detected due to atmosphere metal risk checking. Um, I would love to, but um, it's starting to get dark and it's starting to get late. And I can't see a chuffing thing. And I was actually getting pushed away by the uh, by the sandstorm there as well. Which I can't see three feet in front of me. But we need to hurry up and get up on the hill. Big, big time. Let's go third person because I can't see deadly squat. Well, this was unexpected. I wasn't expecting a damn sandstorm. And I can't see like three feet in front of me. Like, at all. It's starting to get really late, too. Well, it's not that late. It's just, well... <laughs> this is spooky, man. Oh, okay, okay. About right, 100 meters, and then we're there. Well, 200, and then we're there. Then we can just start going up the hill. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I would love to go check out that signal. Um, if you guys know anything about those signals, please let me know in the comments. Um, like, what do I get from it? Do I get some good stuff? Do I get bad stuff? Or are they worth going to? Obviously, we will go to one eventually when we get another sandstorm. But, um, take it this way. The solar panels are going to be freaking covered tomorrow. We're going to have to go and do those. Right, I actually can't even tell... I know we're going up a hill, but just put that on my six and then hopefully I'll get to the top, right? Maybe first person might help a little bit too. Okay, this thing's good. Also the power on this thing's starting to get a little bit low. Right, somewhere in front of us should be our base. Thing was lost. Ah, shame. I would have loved to go check it out, but I can't see quite literally six feet in front of me. I'm, I'm just hoping I run into the base here at some point. I think it's clearing. Oh, there's the base. <laughs> we managed to get back. Our solar panels are covered. And, uh, well, we're running out of time for the episode as well, which is not good. At least it happened at night, which is a good thing, because then I can actually, uh, well, I can actually, um, well, fix it in the morning. I'm just going to go check out power as well before we, uh, we end the episode, just to make sure I've got enough power until... Until morning. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the sandstorm. I think it doesn't even alert you for sandstorm events anymore. Which is surprising. Oh, I hope it didn't uh, blow half my stuff away. Hopefully it didn't. If it did, it did. I'm not really too fussed. Uh, right, are you guys covered in... Yeah, you guys are covered in dust. Right, I think we go inside because we're going to start getting hurt here. Actually, the power. Power first. I can take a little bit of damage, I'm fine. Yeah, okay, we've got enough power for like... Tomorrow. Really. Or tomorrow morning at least. We can run off of battery power. 
until tomorrow. Right, I'm going to take my helmet off. I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series and everything so far. Um, if you guys are, um, please do uh, hit the like button. If not, there's that dislike button right next to Hit subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. Um, I'm actually really enjoying the series and everything so far. Um, I think in the last three episodes, including this one, um, we've actually progressed quite a lot. Um, we're now living in this thing. Um, we're living in our base where we should be living. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy. If you guys have got any tips, tricks or anything like that, or you want to see me do anything, please do leave me a comment down below. I'm more than happy to answer or do them in an episode. Um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I will see you guys all in the next one. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Mark?